All right, today we're going to do, I'm going to give you some packets of letters. And we've been talking about the different regions in the United States. And I want you to pull out all the letters. And I want you to see what region word you come up with. What region word you come up with. All right, I'm going to set a timer. Ready? Set, go. All right, a minute and 30 seconds. A minute and 30 seconds. All right, and one more minute. Show me you're ready. All right, those groups are ready. All right. All right. All right, so what did you notice that's on your table? What word did you come up with that's on your table? What's word? Kamara? Northeast, all right. Is that something we've talked about in our regions before? Yeah, northeast, that's one of our regions, our American. What is Arctic region, all right. Arctic region, where is that located? Where is that located, the Arctic region? Victoria, where is the Arctic region located? Right, it's right away up above all the, um, above where Canada and United States is. Amanda, what do you all have? Um, Great Plains. Great Plains, all right. Where, where is the Great Plains located at? What do you think of that on the map? Looking at, thinking about the map, what do you see the Great Plains? Where is that located? Elizabeth? Right, it's directly like kind of right there in the middle. It's one of the biggest uh, plains. And Zamaria, what do you all have? Northwest. You know, I'm so happy that you all have these regions because we've been talking about all the different regions. And Rita, what's your last one? Southeast. 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 We've been talking about all these different regions for the past two weeks, and we're going to do a review game on these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a scenario. And in that scenario, you're going to have to try to figure out, and you're going to be the explorers. You're going to have to figure out, all right, what American uh, Indian tribe is this, and what region would be best fitted for that region, all right? So I'm going to first model a region, or my scenario. And as I'm modeling my region, I want you to think about how I model and how I'm picking up evidence from my scenario to help me decipher what would be the best region for this tribe. So, all right, the Pablo Indians was having a lot of wars with other tribes in their region. So the chief decided it was time for them to move to a region. Since the Pablo Indians love to make pottery and baskets and masks, they decided they could use the art and they could barter with another tribe in a different region. The Indians had to be careful to make a wise decision to move to the best location for them. On their journey, they came up with the best solution. It was to relocate to an area that had many different weather patterns. So now I'm thinking in my mind, all right, what is a region that we talked about that has a lot of different weather patterns? And we talked about a lot. We have six different regions. So now I'm already thinking in my mind, all right, what would be the best region for that? So now I know the weather patterns. However, they wanted to be close to a main river because the water was scarce in their old region. So they want to be close now. I know they have to have weather patterns and they need to be close to a river and a stream. So I already have an idea in my mind where I think this region might be. All right. So, and once they got to their new region, they bartered with other tribes for some beans, squash, and corn. And they came up with a funny name. A funny name was called the Three Sisters. Who calls their food Three Sisters? The people of the region was the Three Sisters. It was strange to them to call a group of food these words. The Indians immediately noticed they had to hunt for deer, black bears, and other animals. And they needed that to, for they can wear for their clothing. 
In the end, they realized they had to wear many different types of clothes to adjust to the change in the season. So now I'm already thinking to myself, all right, I know I need to figure out and look through this information and what would be the best region for this uh, particular area. So when I'm looking at here, I'm looking and already see that, what did I say? It had to have a lot of different weather patterns. So I know they have to have different weather patterns. So I'm going to look to my graphic organizer and refer to, all right, I know they have to have different weather patterns. It says that in the text. All right, and they want it to be on the main river. We talked about the different regions, and I know the main river we talked about is in the northeast because that was the Mississippi River, remember? And that was Ohio River, so they wanted to be close to that. So they said they wanted to be on the main river, and they wanted something that they call the three sisters, which is beans, squash, and corn. And for hunting for food, they had to have black bears. They were looking for black bears, deer, and other animals. So in the end, I'm coming over here and I'm referring back to my information, and I noticed that it says northeast. I know, oh, northeast, the food source that they had to have, one of their main sources of food was beans, fish, fish. Why they had to have fish? because they were close to the rivers, the Mississippi River and Ohio River. So, and they hunted for deer, black bear, and other small animals because, and that, remember it referred back to weather patterns, and in that climate we know that they had harsh winters and then in the summer it was warm, so they needed something to kind of protect themselves. All right, so as I'm doing that, I now, I'm going to have you think about the different regions I'm going to place a different region at a different table, and on there is going to be some sticky notes. And on those sticky notes, I want you, and when you're talking about with your three, your two o'clock partner, I want you to think about, okay, as I'm reading this and I'm deciphering this information exactly how Ms. Boynton did it, all right, I want you to think about that evidence that is in your scenario, and it might be a funny scenario, it's okay, but I want you to really pay attention to what are the key examples in that passage that helps you figure out what would be the best region, all right? So, as I give you the regions, and then I want you to give on a sticky note and ask yourself and your partner, okay, why was this the best region? I want you to compare those regions. And on a sticky note, I want you to put that on that region and write it down. So, northeast region, what can you, I want you to turn and talk to your partner. What do you notice about the region that I'm putting on your table before we get started. Go ahead. created um, a couple weeks ago and I want you to make sure you refer back to that to make sure that what you're looking for in your region is exactly what you said and don't forget to use those clues from your scenario okay all right go ahead and once you get your scenario sorry you can get started Thank you. 
So what do we talk about? What do we know about the manic? Exactly. All right. So what are some of the clues that are helping you remember this thing?
just, you know, they were looking at and reading over their region and they were looking at the beginning and then they came to what they thought was the right region and once they went back and referred to their graphic organizer, they realized they were at the wrong one. But I appreciate and see that's what I'm saying. You have to make sure you might think you might know the right region, but you really have to dig in and decipher what is the right information that will go in the line to that specific tribe. Okay? I like that. Guys. So I'm glad you realized that. Because they were the right north. Let's go north. And how are we doing? Oh no, it's the southwest. No, you're the you're the one in jewelry. The one in jewelry. And then the south one. And they got two jewelry. All right, so what did you guys know? Right north. Right north. So now, that information that you have, 